proud of having you been here. I believe that. I just want to say um, to everyone here, just thank you so much for uh, to do this day in and day out and uh, be struggling so hard against the largest industry in the history of the world. It's remarkable, the bravery and the, the endurance and the steadfastness that it takes to do that. So I, I hope you like the movie. <laughs> and, um, thank you so much for joining us and joining us. And what I'm going to try to do is have them answer questions. I'm going to talk a lot throughout the whole next several year on this movie, I'm sure. This is very special to have these people here, but I do believe there's a question from Tribeca first. Sure. Thank you all for sticking around, and thank you all for being here. Um, Josh, I just wanted to ask you a question. Oh my God, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila Evans is actually attending a screening. It's, it's like never happens. Sheila Evans and Nancy Abraham from HBO. The whole reason why this who have shaped this film, who have battered and beaten this film into shape, who are some of, two of the most amazing, creative individuals I've ever had the honor to work with in my entire life. They, they, have, they have taught me so much, and they even taught me how to completely space out in, in a town. Sheila and Nancy, thank you. I thank you. All these people, thank you. Um, unbelievable. We are going to be on HBO in the summer, and that's amazing because all these stories are going to go into 40 million homes around the United States. Okay. Someone next time give me a list. Thank you. Okay. Well, I think uh, because we do have a limited amount of time, Josh, do you uh, would you like to take some questions from the audience uh, quickly? Um, sure, without a doubt. Who has a question raised? Or and if there are none, that's fine. I doubt that, though. <laughs> right, 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 right here. Let's just hear for the Seneca 12, please. The Seneca 12. Okay. Oh, yeah. Dr. Sanders Steingraber, who is one of my, this is what you're talking about, yes. one of my favorite people in the world, a uh, renowned biologist and doctor and author, write, uh, uh, writer of Living Downstream, is in jail yeah. right now for a period of 15 days, along with several other folks, in, who in New York stood in front of a number of trucks, isn't this right? Yeah. Yes. Who were trying to bring natural gas to an underground storage facility. And they were arrested. And Sandra said, I don't really feel like paying a fine. Take me to jail. And she's in jail. I called her up three days ago. I said, hey, Sandra, you're coming to the premiere, right? She goes, Oh, no, I think I'll probably be in jail. <laughs> Fifteen days might seem like a short period of time, but if you've ever been arrested and put in a jail, even an hour is an amazingly long time. And I, I'm just incredibly grateful to Sandra and the other folks who were, who were arrested in that period of time. So I just say thank you to Sandra Steingraber. And, and realize that people in New York here have been fighting. It's just remarkable what's happening in New York right now. Absolutely remarkable. That this state, with an outpouring of citizens like I've never seen ever, actually fought off the oil and gas industry and have won so far. Um, and just so Sheila and Nancy don't feel really bad, I forgot my entire family. <laughs> my mother and my father and my brother and my stepmother are all here. Come over here. You guys are in the movie. Michael Fox, Angela Fox, Alexander Fox, Delia Hayes. Never let the director do this ever. Ever. Never let the director do an introduction. All right, so who's got a question for, uh, for these families? Uh-huh. All right, sir. Um, 